let's review VS Code extension that allows us to customize interface. It's called APC Customize UI++. Let's search for this extension in the extension panel and install this extension. I heavily use this extension in my daily work. After installation process completes, this extension should be automatically enabled. But if it wasn't, we can manually enable this extension by opening up Command Panel of VS Code by using keyboard shortcut Command Shift P or in Windows Control Shift P. And in here to enable APC extension, we should execute Enable APC extension command. And in order for changes to take effect, we also need to restart VS Code. And before we actually start customizing interface by using this extension, on the extensions page there are a couple of nodes specifically for users of different operating system. So if this extension for some reason doesn't work in your case, you might want to review these additional instructions in here. And now let's start using this extension. So the first thing we're gonna do is to try to make this area a little more compact. And to do so, we firstly have to apply the following option window, title bar style, native. After saving the changes, we have to restart Visual Studio Code. As we can see, title bar was changed. But this is of course not the result that we need. So let's apply additional setting, which comes from APC extension. This setting is called apc.electron. In here we have to use an object. And as the key of this object, we're gonna use title bar style with the value hidden. And after saving the changes, we once again have to restart Visual Studio Code. And after that, we're gonna notice that title bar has become much more compact. And this way we have more room for our code. Also, APC extension allows us to customize position of traffic lights buttons. So let's specify an option with the name traffic light position. Here we have to use an object with keys that correspond to coordinates X and Y. I'm gonna choose random values just to see the result. So after saving the changes, we can see how it affected traffic lights buttons. But I'm okay with the default position, so I'm going to discard this option. The next option, which we also specify inside this electron object, is called opacity. And this option allows us to control level of opacity of VS Code window. So for example, I'm going to use value 0.7. And after saving, we can see that our window has become transparent. I prefer to disable transparency, so I'm gonna remove this option. Next, let's make font of the sidebar same as font of the editor. And also the same font will be applied to the panel with a list of files. And since my current font of the editor is called Denk Mono, I'm going to use this font for the setting APC font family. Let's apply the settings, and right away we can see that the font of the sidebar was changed. And the same font was applied to the panel with this list of files. Let's continue. In order to demonstrate the next setting, I need to show activity panel again. So I'm going to run this command toggle activity bar visibility in order for activity panel to show up. And what the next option will do is it's going to add an extra menu button to the top right of this area, right here. Let's apply this setting APC menu bar compact with the value true, save changes and restart Visual Studio Code. So after that, we can see the new button right here. And this button opens up the menu. And this is the main menu which position depends on operating system. But if you like, you can also leave this option on to access this menu also from the activity panel. Next, we can also apply a couple more additional settings to customize activity bar. So for example, we'd like to change its position we can position it on top of the sidebar by using the value top for this position option. Or we can move it to the bottom by specifying the corresponding option bottom, like so. And also, we can change font size of icons 
inside activity bar panel. And then there is one more option that we can apply to activity bar, which is item margin. And this option is responsible for configuring distance between icons. Let's move on and go to the next element, which will be header. So, for example, we'd like to change height of this element. And to do so, we can use option height. And let's see how it will be reflected as I'm going to change values for this option. As we can see, height of the header changes as well. Then we can also configure height. But for this element, this is a sidebar title. So let's use an option with a name APC sidebar title bar. Here we also have to specify an object with the key height where we can configure the height of the title. And in addition to that, we can also configure the font size. I'm going to use 12. To show configurations for the next element, I firstly have to make this element visible by running the following command toggle status bar visibility. This is this status line which appears at the bottom of the editor. So let's start with configuring its position. To do this, we need to add an option apc.statusBar with the object where key will be position. And in here we can use desirable position. For example, let's use value top and the status line was moved to the top. Some other values are bottom, also editor bottom. In this case, the status line is not going to be stretched full width, but instead will cover only editor area until the sidebar. Let's try using this option, and as we can see, status line is displayed only under the code area. And one more value is editor top. In this case, we get the same result, but the status line is shown on top. And there is also a couple of additional options we can apply to status line, which is height, that allows us to configure the height of the status line, and also font size, to configure the size of the font. The next configuration we're going to apply will allow us to increase or decrease line height of the sidebar items. And in the same way, we will be able to configure line height of the items in File Explorer. So first of all, let's apply different line height for sidebar items. I'm going to specify setting apc.listRow. Inside of this object, we have to use key lists. And here we should specify value in the form of array where we list those areas where custom line height should be applied. And to apply custom line height to the sidebar, we need to use Vela Explorer folders view. And then by applying additional option height, we can configure a desirable line height. And as we can see, as I'm changing this value, line height of the sidebar items also changes. In addition to that, I also prefer to change the font size of sidebar items. For this, we need to specify an option font size. And also to apply the same configurations for the items in File Explorer, let's add additional entry to lists array, which will be quick input list. And after saving the changes, we can see that the same line height was also applied to this list of files. And there is also one more area of the editor where I would like to apply the same line height configuration, which is this search panel. So to apply the same configuration in here, we have to add an entry results to this array. So as we can see, APC Customize UI++ is pretty powerful extension, which allows us to configure VS Code interface in many different ways. Link to this extension, as well as to the repository with these settings, will be in the video description.